Roll Tide. We're back from our amazing trip. To Walt Disney World. It was fantastic. And we've bought quite a lot. We so, caught up with some sleep. Yes. We got back yesterday at morning and it's now the next day afternoon. And we need to do the haul now because we seriously need to put all this stuff away. There is a lot of it. <laughs> so we're, bear with us we're not showing absolutely everything because some things were christmas presents Gifts, and we yep. can't show them because this will go out before christmas um everything we bought at disney world we had our 20 percent dvc or annual pass discount because both give you 20 percent um so that's that everything else we didn't actually have discount on did we no yep okay right we're going to kick off with bath and body works so yeah. our first time i'd actually ever been in there what's wrong with me I uh, didn't actually go too mad. I got a couple of three wick candles. I got twisted peppermint, which sm I wish you had smell a vision here because it oh, smells amazing. And I also got caramel, cinnamon caramel swirl, which just smells like cookies. It's amazing. So at Christmas, house is going to smell amazing. And they were. 24.50 each but there was a deal going on and I cannot remember how much I paid so I'm so sorry but they were a little bit cheaper than that and I got a marshmallow pumpkin latte fragrance mist and that was half price because they were already getting the sale stuff out or the full stuff to get the Christmas stuff in so that was seven dollars that was a bit of a bargain and three hand washes. This one had a little bit of an accident in the case. It's a bit leaky, that It one. leaked a teeny bit, but thankfully it was in a zipped plastic bag, so it didn't actually mess anything else up. So we've got crisp morning air. Blue. And marshmallow pumpkin spice latte again, because it smells so nice in the shop. Orange. And this will keep us going all year. And afternoon apple picking. Red. And they were all half price as well because they were the autumn range and they were six pounds fifty six dollars fifty so they were three dollars twenty five so that was a bit of a bargain and then i just got a couple of little hand creams because these are really handy for travel size things when you can't take your big liquids away with you so there's a merry cookie and another twisted peppermint because it smelt so amazing. And they were five dollars each. They weren't on deal because they were the Christmas current stuff. So that was just all the things I got in Bath and Body Works. I didn't go mad and quite honestly next time I will probably do an online order and get them to deliver it to the hotel because it's just easier to do. What a great shop that is. In yeah. all of millennia. So that will be in the vlog, won't it? Yeah. The full vlogs. So, right, so that was my haul from there. Okay, I'll let you talk about that. <laughs> so where's the one thing you want to buy fluffy fleecy jackets? Of course, Florida. In, <laughs> in the raging heat. It was hot. <laughs> so we went in, obviously everyone's been to Disney Springs and they know they've got a variety of shops there. One is Uniqlo and they seem to do deals at a regular basis, don't yeah. they? Yeah, every day. Nearly every almost. week. So I got a green one. Or was it blue? It's blue. It's green. Is it? Yeah. I can't really tell. It's dark green. It's dark green. And it's a fluffy <laughs> jacket. It's $30. I probably got it for 25 didn't I? Yes, I they had a deal night. on that weekend. And, and Pip. I got one too. I got a pink one. So I got a Pippa pink one. So these one. would be perfect now we're back home. It did feel very odd buying... Fluffy fleecy jackets in 90 but degrees. they're so soft, we couldn't I, really turn them down. I can, I can go sleep on this one, to be honest. So they're but, lovely. Yes, and we have bought a couple of presents, but they had so many different deals on. These were, we paid 25. Full price they were 30, and then we went back another day and they were 20. So it's definitely worth keeping an eye on the deals, isn't it? Yeah. Like, <gasps> there we go, chuck that over there. Got lots of 
food. We love their pet food. <laughs> Why not? They have so much different stuff than we have. Right, so. So we went to Target and Publix. One time each. Went to Publix a couple of yeah. times, but one was just to get essentials. essentials. So, as you know, they're amazing places, especially for Brits walking around them. So I decided, I saw these and I just thought, Christmas. So it's a pub mix and it looks like lots of different flavours of, it says a savoury blend of crunchy snacks. That'll go down nicely on British Does it have Day. price on it? I can't remember how much that was. I can't remember either. It wasn't very it much. It wasn't much, four, four dollars, something Five dollars, like something like that, yeah. It's a massive great tub. And thanks to the lovely Luke and Rich of LR Dreaming, we decided to try some of the sweet baby rays. Yep, Hawaiian. We've never had it before. Is so it the Hawaiian one? Hawaiian, Hawaiian barbecue sauce. I mean, they've got stacks of different types of barbecue sauce, but we thought Shelton. we'd give this a go. So, Luke and Rich, that one's for you. <laughs> you that? Well, Mickey Mouse goldfish. But if you, you don't know what goldfish are, they're like little cheesy nibbles. So. I think they might have got a little bit crushed. So it might be cheese powder. Maybe. I think pretty much everyone get some goldfish to bring home. And yeah, they're doing a Mickey and also, Mouse edition. Everyone gets chips ahoy. So oh. there's the red velvet. And some of these are taken to my work. And we've got just a, a plain one. Chocolate chip. And And then we found Reese's pieces. They're not gonna last five minutes in your face. So I bet by no. coffee time, when the day I go back, they'll have gone. So Pip's gonna do some baking. Yes, yeah, so for Vlogmas I've grabbed a couple of packets of Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. You can get this over here, but these are much bigger packs. And they weigh a ton. They do weigh a ton. Are they a kilo each? Yeah. Mm, a pound each. A pound each. Oh, wait, wait, in, in weight. They're really heavy. Um, yeah, so that's going to make a fair amount, because I've found the little packets we have here in England don't make very many cookies. <laughs> that's going to make plenty. Um, actually, you better have that on the bag. Yeah. So what's that little place called? The Spice and Tea Exchange in Disney Springs. It's within the shop that's called Mickey's Pantry. Yeah. So I love it. My son loves it. And I'll put it in most of our pasta dishes. Is Vicks Garlic Fix. There it is. It's not cheap. No, it's not cheap. $22. For that packet. But that'll probably last six months, so hopefully. Good though. Really it's jazzes really up a bolognese or something like that. It's lovely. And Pip got these. This is for my dad. My dad loves hot and spicy things. I've started to get a taste for it myself. No, it's not for me, but <laughs> scorpion pepper sea salt. That stuff, one grain on your hand will blow your head off. I think it's... Um, I think that'll keep my dad going yeah. for a couple of years, to be honest. But he did ask me to get that for him. It's um, for the brave people. How much is that? Oh, I think that's $17.50. Okay. And there's no... Uh, no discount. No discount. In because there. it's a franchise. It's not actually a Disney shop. Um... And they normally come in uh, like the glass grinders, but we've already got them, so that's why we got the refill packs. Yeah. Um, I found this in Target and I couldn't resist it because I do love a little bit of sparkle if you've been watching our vlogs. Yes. And I found this, <laughs> I found this jacket. Look at that. <laughs> it is amazing. It was actually from the kids' department. Shimmery. Um, but it fits me because I'm quite little. And it's from a company called More Than Magic. It's nothing to do with Disney as far as I know and it was $30. And I just think this is great fun, and this is gonna be great for nights out and parties and stuff, and yeah, if you won't lose me in a crowd if I'm wearing this, will you? Well, we can hear you coming. And well. one of my friends has already asked me if she can borrow it for an ABBA night, so. <laughs> so yes, I thought that was great fun. And I better not give you the coffee, had I? No, go on, do so, that. Right, so when we went to the outlets, I popped to Kate Spade, with the intention of getting a handbag, but none of the handbags really grabbed me. But I did get the purse, and it's kind of shimmery. Yeah, it's nice. And it's one of the long wallets with lots of compartments in. Yep. And this was an absolute steal, because it was $189 full price, and then they had 60% off that particular range and that table that was in the shop. And then when as you walked in the door, they were giving you a 20% off on top of everything else, coupon. So I actually paid $64 for it in the end. So that was a bit of a bargain. So I'm really happy with that. Lovely. And that'll last for ages, isn't it? Sparkly! 
coffee. Pete doesn't drink coffee. I've, I've got a taste for coffee and they have so many great flavours in the ground coffee that you can stick in the machine. So I kind of stocked up. So I've got a Dunkin' Donuts cinnamon coffee roll flavour. That sounds fun. I've got the white peppermint, white chocolate peppermint flavour. Because of course they've got all their seasonal flavours at the moment, haven't they? A Starbucks peppermint mocha. And of course, the obligatory pumpkin spice. So I've got the Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin spice. Haven't opened any of them yet, but they were in the main cases on the way home and they got so incredibly cold in the hold. So they are kind of... It's going to take a while for them. Solid. So. They've got to kind of defrost. <laughs> so they've gone a bit it's solid. It's compact. So. So. Yeah. The, the, the pumpkin spice one is starting to... That's yeah. defrosting a bit now. So yeah, give it a couple of days. I'll be able to try those properly. Um... Went to Sephora, like all us girls do, but I only got a couple of little eyeshadows, so nothing major in there. Um, and even though I was carrying these tiny two eyeshadows around the shop, a lady came up to me in the shop and said, do you need a basket? Like, I definitely need a basket. I think she thought I was gonna buy a stack of stuff, but I wasn't. Got an AOS ball. Do you want to just, you know, have a cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> just chatting away with all of this. Got an AOS ball. This is a candy cane one. An AOS ball, if people don't know, is a lip balm. So it's one of those ones. You can get them here in the UK, but they're much cheaper in America. And this was a little double pack for $5 in Target. And that's the AOS ball and then another sort of more traditional lip balm that's vanilla frosting flavour. Mm. So that was, that was And I only bought one thing at Universal. You didn't get anything at Universal. Yeah, it's not no. my thing really. Um, there was nothing Potter, but Hufflepuff Potter that was grabbing me because we were both in Hufflepuff house. I've got a lot of stuff there. But... Oh, stacks, but yeah, it, it wasn't really grabbing us to be honest. But I grabbed a chocolate frog. Now they've started doing them in tins, so not the cardboard box. So this was actually $20, so it was a bit more. The normal ones in the cardboard box are $12. But it's got five chocolate frog cards inside, not just one. So I'm going to unbox it now because I haven't yet. So, ta da! So it's there's, a frog! There's your chocolate frog. It's a solid frog. He's in a little bag. Yeah. Chocolate's okay, it's not amazing chocolate. But yeah, so there's your chocolate frog. I think I probably need to stick him in the fridge, don't I? Yeah, probably. And um, right, oh what cards have I got? I've got Dumbledore previously. What have I got? Oh, I've got Rowena Ravenclaw. Oh, let's hold that now. And I think Lou. you've got all the I think I might have the house. Oh, Salazar Slytherin. Do -do. Helga Hufflepuff, yay! Our head of house. Uh, founder of that house, rather. Dumbledore. I've got him. As Ron says in the film, I've got hundreds of him. And Godric Gryffindor. Awesome. So I've got a full set now. Yeah. Well, not of all the chocolate. You probably get all them in every tin. Yes. More I'm than likely. So. But that tin will be used for something. I yeah. will. I will put something in it. Just a Maybe some makeup things upstairs. So that was cool. yeah, that's twenty. And that concludes the non-Disney portion of the vlog. So, moving on. Yeah, right. Disney stuff. Here we go. Right, Disney, Disney stuff. Yes. Okay, so if anybody watched our Disneyland Paris haul, I bought a couple of the, uh, the Mickey and Minnie gingerbread um, cushions and they've got a big one at Disney World. And he scented. He scented. He actually smells of gingerbread. Just smells amazing. He's awesome. He is very cool. So he'll be sitting with his miniature yep. counterparts, and he was twenty-seven dollars. And are we doing panto? It's behind you. Yeah. <laughs> he is amazing. I love him already. And the, the, the he was sitting in the conservatory, and the conservatory has actually started smelling of gingerbread. So.
it me? It's you. What should I go with? Kitchen stuff. So we've had new work surfaces in the kitchen, so yep. we thought hot pans and stuff, why not get pan stand? Can you see that? So just see little, the little, little mickeys, mickeys there? there? Yeah. Not so too bad, $22 that, with, that the, used every with day. the discount. Now sometimes it's difficult, isn't it? And you worry about putting a hot pan on your work surface, so I thought that was a good idea. We wanted that last year, didn't we? Yes, yeah, so we didn't get it. it. I don't know why there. we didn't get it last year. So we've got that now. Yep. Mugs! Quite frankly. <laughs> Starbucks mugs. So, I keep saying I'm not going to collect the next set they bring out, and then I do. So I didn't get the Epcot one, because I got that in April when we went over for the Disney cruise. But I did get the other three to go with the set, because, you know, why not? Um, so here's the Hollywood Studios one, if you haven't seen it before. So it's got loads of little pictures and icons on. And we've got the aliens. <laughs> And the Tower of Terror. It's very cool. There's such and a lot of detail on there now. Plum, kind of a plum dark red inside. And they're 19 99 so they're not cheap, but they're really sturdy. They're mm. good, yeah, good, decent, see quality mugs. Then we have the Magic Kingdom one, which is also very, very pretty. Got a Mickey ice cream on there, teacups, and the castle. Pirates down there. Most magical place on earth. And an elephant from the Jungle Cruise, love it. And that's a pale blue inside. Nice. And to finish the set, had to get Animal Kingdom. We gave Animal Kingdom a lot of love this year, didn't we? Mm. Really love that park. And that's got lots of detail on it. I love the little Mickey Rice Krispie there, just randomly in the middle. Is it a cookie? Yeah. So. Awesome. And that's not our dino there. And that's sort of a medium shade of green, I'd say. Yeah. There. So, yep, they will get absolutely used. So my collection of Starbucks mugs is ever growing. And also, also, drinks container themed. That's yours. Oh. We got these. You can't go if you're staying on site and not get these, can you really? So how much were these? 20? Oh, no, you pay for Yeah, them. they're $20 each. But of course, I'm sure you know, if you don't, you can refill them with all soft drinks and hot drinks yeah. in any resort. So even if you're staying at, I don't know, we were staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, you could still go to All Star Movies and fill them up. Great value then. Can't fill them up in the parks, which is a bit of a shame, but yeah, so useful. We would get to the drink station after a day, fill them up with a cold drink, glug have a, it. Have a glug. And then I can have my tea. And then have a cup of tea and take it back to the room. Cause, and that's what we do. But yeah. So these, these make great souvenirs and we ended up taking ours on the cruise and using it as something to fill up with drinks on the cruise because soft drinks were all included. So that was really handy. Awesome. They've got lots of Pixar characters on. Well, this is just the design that we chose. Yeah. Yeah, we just missed out on the Christmas ones, didn't we? Yeah. Of course, that's your second lid as well, isn't it? Yes, somehow I was filling up my tea at Saratoga. And her lid went missing. And my lid disappeared. I had to go and beg the lady behind the till for another lid. I, don't, I still don't know where it went, but... So? Popcorn bucket. Had to get this one because it's got Star Wars on it. So this, just prior to them bringing out the Christmas ones of Mickey and... What is it? I can't remember. There's a Christmas tree. Oh, there's lots of Christmas big... tree. And a bauble shaped one. The Christmas regular shaped popcorn bucket. Snow speeders on there and eighty eighty from the Empire Strikes Back. Oh, that's great. And the black lid. Who doesn't like a bit of black? And we keep things like cereal bars and stuff yeah. like that in. Um, and that, that was 12 12 and refills are $2. Yeah, it? refills are $2 each. I think I put on a tweet or a Instagram post. They were free refills. They're not. No. They're $2 each. $2. That's still a bit of a bargain, but... Right. Ooh, one mug left. I have one mug left. This was from Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I couldn't, I wasn't going to get it, and then I couldn't resist it when I saw it. So it looks like an old-fashioned uh, light from a Christmas tree, and says, Cocoa Cookies and Christmas Cheer. And on the back, it says, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And it has a lid. So you can pop the drink in there, keep it warm. It's not, doesn't, it's quite loose. So yeah. I'd only have it on a table, I think, and stick the lid on, because otherwise I think it could go everywhere. Just keep but, your drink hot for a bit. And that was an outrageous price, Disney. You should be ashamed of yourselves. $25 just for that mug. 
but we're not likely to do the Christmas party next year because it was way overcrowded. So last year we bought the cutlery set with uh, the Mickey logo sort of on them. So this year we decided to get the serving set. Let's put it out the right way, shall we? Which is that. Let's try and get, get it. the light here. Yeah. So there's slotted spoons, cake slice, butter knife. You just hold it up slightly. Yeah. And go slightly closer. That's where there's a little Mickey cutout yeah, down there's there. There's a little Mickey cutout. Yeah. So all their cutlery and these match now. Which was forty dollars with the twenty percent off. Yep. So thirty two. Pretty good value, I think. We also noticed this year they didn't have the cutlery set. No. So, so we're glad we bought it last tip. year. If you see it, get it. I'm sure we all know at Disney and Universal, if you see something you like, get it there and then don't wait a couple of days, don't wait till the end of your trip, because you can bet your life it will have gone. So, right. Oh, next one was a gift uh, from a friend. We went to Le Cellier in Canada for dinner because their steak is amazing. And our server that we had three years ago, uh, the lovely Steph, uh, she's so in Disney on uh, Twitter and Instagram. And we took over some British treats and sweets and stuff for her. And she gave us in return, which we didn't expect at all, no. one of the new plushes that are themed to the countries in World Showcase. So we've got Canadian Mickey. Canadian Mickey. And he's got a little axe. And he's about to go chopping some wood. And he's even got Epcot. Canada on his foot and that was really really kind of her so oh and there's a little Canadian leaf on his hat so yeah he's very very cute so Galaxy's Edge unbelievable it's amazing had to get something wasn't going to get a lightsaber although you don't have to do the actual lightsaber building thing for $200 there I mean, is a little shop it, there you? where you can mm -hmm. actually mix and match and buy your lightsabers I might do that next year it's getting it back though but I, there's two holocrons. There's a Jedi holocron. I don't know what a holocron is. Don't worry about it. But I bought the Sith holocron. I admit it does actually look quite fun. So it's uh, okay, USB too. charged. Okay. Oh, hang on. And... So if you want to creep some people out with some strange noises, there you go. And when you shut it down, brilliant. And you get a little bag. Oh, and it's actually branded, isn't it? Yeah. With there's a little black spire outpost on it. It's a leather pouch, actually. Oddly. And you get your little cable and your little explanation. Book okay, it. so I'm going to have to ask, because I'm not a Star Wars aficionado, what's that noise inside that it's making? Is it just the power of the force or yes. whatever? Oh, okay. Sis. All right. Sith and Jedi both have their own side of the force. But I've learned something a, today. Oh, and that wasn't cheap. No. I think was that fifty bucks? Yes. Yeah. Fifty bucks. But, but I got a discount. When we saw people started putting the YouTube videos up, like at the end of August when Galaxy's Edge opened and we saw the merch, you'd said for weeks you wanted yeah. that, so But my bad is fifty credits. So credits, yes, sorry, not dollars. Get it right. Bright Suns. Bright Suns. <laughs> Right, more food. We grabbed some of this last year on a whim. We haven't tried it. It just sounded nice and it was amazing. We were looking around. Some of the Mickey popcorn. Yeah, we couldn't find it in we any shop. We couldn't find it and then boardwalk. halfway through the holiday, we found, found it in some. the boardwalk. It's chocolate caramel with sea salt. It and is. Mm. You can't stop. Once that bag is open. That's the good. Yeah, that's why we haven't opened it yet because yeah. otherwise it would be down to here already. So stuff's good and that was 6.99 for the popcorn although it's a lot for popcorn it's a cheap thing at disney because we all yeah. know it's not expensive it's not cheap at disney but that's why we do the overtime then we found the christmas edition this year is candy cane popcorn yeah couldn't resist popcorn. and that one was a dollar more that was seven no that was 6.99 as well it's a but it's a slightly smaller packet so they get you there but yeah, that looks really good too. So that's Christmas Eve, I think we might be. Yeah. Hot chocolate popcorn and a movie. Put that down there. 
Um, should we do our annual pass? Freebies. A couple of freebies. So we both got this year. We're annual pass holders. The we magnet. both got the Remy magnet. There he is. So that you can collect at Epcot on your first visit during the Food and Wine we Festival. We have two of them. And also because we've you visit Epcot four times during your visit. Then you can get. You can get your little coasters. So that's the box. Do you want to show them the box? Yep. That's quite a cute box. So that was actually the magnet you could get through the first period of the festival. We were there for the second period. So that's why we've got the Remy one. Oh, shame they can't get both. Never mind. And then you get a little coaster set. Yeah, a little, little box in a bag. For a freebie, it's tray. really not bad. And yeah, do you want to show that up yep. close? You get four coasters with a picture of Minnie on. And they've got the Food and Wine Festival. Which is odd. There. Maybe they should have done one with Remy on. Yeah. But yeah, it's... You know what? You don't get much for free at Disney, so... What we did notice on the last day we came out of Epcot, the queue mm. for these... Yeah, for the pass holder. Literally was a... 100 meter snake snaking around three the times over yeah just crazy. to get these but i'm sure they're up on ebay for a vastly inflated um yeah price yeah, if you want a set. set we've yeah, got we a set can. a spare set so yes highest bidder no we'll probably trade we'll yeah. probably trade for some of these that we haven't got yes maybe. actually we've got the collection on the fridge yeah. haven't we And what other free? Oh, another freebie. Oh, a couple more freebies. So at Mickey's Christmas party, if you go by the fire station that's in Town Square, you can get the free exclusive Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card. So this is the one for the Christmas party. Pluto. Pluto. And that's completely free. They'll just mark your band to say that you've got it and you don't go up and collect three or four. So that will might figure in a giveaway perhaps because we never play this but um, I know some people really are into it so that's that and then another freebie just as we were leaving we left on the 10th of November Christmas officially kicked off at Disney on the 8th yes, yeah. and at Disney Springs there was once again because it happened last year Stitches Holiday Gift Hunt so this little booklet you can pick up in all the shops at Disney Springs for free and it's got stickers in the middle and you just go around the certain shops that it tells you to, and you have to find, find him. a little um, little cardboard cardboard hotel. stitches hidden somewhere in the shop. Normally somewhere up high, so everyone can see it. And he's holding something. Yes, and then you have to put the corresponding sticker into the booklet. And then when you've collected all of them, you go to some of the shops that are listed in here, and you get a pin. So I whopped around Disney Springs doing that, didn't I? It's easy. It's, it's easy. It's meant for kids, but. All the people in the shops that I was saying, oh, where's the stitch? They said it's all adults coming in. <laughs> so, yeah. Never mind. So that's another free thing to do. Uh, oh, oh, semi-free. Yeah. Whenever you buy something in an Animal Kingdom shop, they always ask you if you'd like to donate to the Disney Conservation Fund. I always say yes every year, and they give you a pin for being a conservation hero. I'm like, this is a new pin. I haven't had this design before. So I've got a collection through the years. So. So that was another sort of free thing. And they don't mind how much you donate, a dollar upwards. Free right, bear with me, because I'm going to bang on about my Christmas display now. Every year I do a Christmas display and table. With, I try and make it as best as I can. I That'll saw be this. In, there'll be a vlogmas about that. I saw this in uh, Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, yeah. One, whatever, the, which one of the traders it is. Oh, Discovery Trading Company shop. And I, I love it. And yeah, you see. really liked that the moment you saw it, didn't you? There's a light box. So and people would like to, to uh, press the light. Mm. There we go. The lights up. Which is great. That's really fun. Love I'm that. guessing you can actually have that on and off and maybe intermittent. That's just a test button. But I thought that's pretty yep. good value. It was 40 bucks, but I got me 20% off. And you really like that. And I did the, I'm going to get that now because I'm not. You, you didn't know. procrastinate, did you? You just there, got it. There are it. some things that go so quickly, yeah. you're not going to risk it. Also, while we was in, I think it was Publix, on the second visit, they just started doing their Christmas stuff. Yes. So, on my Christmas display, I've got all these little uh, solar bobble heads. Like wibbly wobbly things that do they this. They do this. <laughs> they, oh, there's nothing to it. They just light. Well, as soon as the sun comes out, they start They've moving. They've got a little teeny tiny solar panel. So, in Publix, for $5.99... Olaf. 
So there's that for two foot forward. There's the and little, there's a little, there's solar. A little solar panel. And he will, sorry, no, he'll be wibbly wobbly now. So he's going to join the crew. I think you've got a, table. you've got a Father Christmas and a, sand, and a oh, snowman and an elf. Yeah. Christmas a tree. Few. Oh, a reindeer. I think you've got a reindeer that does yeah. that as well. So. Okay. Uh, phone cases. So I was after a couple of new phone cases. Now, we had quite trouble finding XRs. Once again, all the phone cases are iPhone cases. Uh, if you want anything for a Samsung or something else, you have to go to DTEC at the co-op at Springs. Everything else is really hard to find, but I did find a couple that I liked. So I bought the Food and Wine Festival case, which has got Minnie, or Mickey, well, is it Minnie? No, it's Minnie, holding a piece of cake. And there's her in the background. That's cute. That looks very um, France in, yes. in DLP, that. Yes, it does a bit, doesn't yeah. it? And then I think this is going to be a birthday present. Yeah. It's my birthday at the end of the Pip month. Pip can open that when she wants to. And again, for the XR, but it's sort of Mickey snacks. Ice cream, Mickey ice creams, really. And I thought that was very, very sweet. So what we did notice towards the end, or in a few places, they're, they're mixing the XR with the, uh, the new 11. Yeah. And then... The hole is bigger. Yeah, it's sort of like all the way around here because the 11's it's got, got the three, three yeah, cameras three on, hasn't lenses. it? Which I just didn't want the rest of my phone exposed, to be honest. So yeah, I ended up getting the proper one for an yeah. XR. They don't look too good, but it's a bit weird, if you it? want one of them. And those were $30 each. So again, not cheap, but let's face it, nothing at Disney's cheap. So, But they yes. will now keep me going. I've only just got the XR. I've had it for a few months and I'll be keeping it for years. So yeah, they will do me fine. Right. Next. I've got a lanyard upstairs that I pinned some old um, officer name badges you used to get in Launch Bay, a printing machine where they oh yeah they printed out various types of badges either dark side, dark yeah. side. Don't do them anymore. They're oh, not great. Gutted. But I wanted to get something to put on this lanyard from Galaxy's Edge. I'm not a pin collector, but I thought I'm going to get a pin. So I thought I'd get the annual pass holders limited edition pin with the falcon on. As you can see, I'll insert a picture. So that'll go on my lanyard. As I say, I'm not a pin collector because you can no, get bogged down in pins. I don't blame people for collecting them because they're beautiful. I can see how addictive it is because I get addicted to other items of merch. So, <laughs> But I wanted just one thing. Yeah. Just one pin. There's lots of them. Just oh, to say, stacks. Just to say I've been there. In the first few months of it. Mr. Open. David and Mr. Ian, we're looking at you. Everyone knows that uh, Disney Plus well, it started today, actually, when we're recording this. In the US, not so, here in yeah, the UK. We're not getting it till March. Oh. <laughs> we're not getting it till March. Boo! <laughs> but. I thought I'd get the Mandalorian pop. I'm not a pop collector. I've got the Alien one for Toy Story. I'm going to try and get the Boba Fett one. But we got this thinking it was the last one in the shop. Yep. And then we went into the Springs. Stacks of them. Loads of them. You can never tell though. So it's always... But Disney are always happy to refund or exchange something. Yeah. They have a no quibble thing. So yeah, if you see something, grab it. And then a couple of days later, if you think, oh, I'm not keen. You can take it back. It's not a problem. I have a thing for Boba Fett, Mandalorians, anything... Like that, anyway. It's your favourite character, isn't it? So, I thought, why not? Buttons. I got a couple of the new buttons that Capri? they're doing. Well, they call them buttons out there. We call them badges. But they're making lots of badges now. So, two, a pack of two is $10. And there were stacks of different types. But I got the Christmas ones because we love Christmas. So, I got... I love holiday treats and the sweetest holiday on earth. And they will go on my Christmas jumpers at work. And yeah, I'm just a sucker for anything with Christmas on it, really. As is Pete. <laughs> Lego time. As you know, Disney Springs has a Lego store. I didn't go too mad this year. No, you didn't actually, to be fair. Because I've changed, <laughs> changed all the VIP point system 
I can't use my points over there, but I can earn them. So, yeah, we already bought, and I'd earmarked something else, which I'll show you in a minute to buy, so I couldn't really buy anything big. So I bought some little stuff. Brick heads, new, new range out. So there's a Christmas, they've got Elfie, Elf and a reindeer. More for the Christmas display. Yeah, if you hold that up there, which are very cute. So that's a three in one box. This display is gonna be epic this year. That, or it's going to cover the entire conservatory. These got a bit bashed in the uh, case. Oh, it did, didn't it? Also, which I didn't know they were releasing at all, brick heads wise, is Kylo. They've already done Inverty's mask, but there's Kylo with his mask and a Sith trooper from the new film. Of course, mm. I've avoided any spoilers of that film so far. Pete sort of gave a little gasp of excitement when he saw it on I the shelf. I literally grabbed, <laughs> grabbed it off the shelf. <laughs> And I've grabbed another one as well. Also got this at the airport. You probably saw it in the mini vlog. It's a little Christmas train. That'll go on my display. Light. There we go. A couple of these little guard figures. They're mini figures. And they're so going to guard the Disney castle. They're going they? to guard Mickey and friends in the Disney castle. Okay. And what I've got free in the Lego store is a little reindeer. And that was if you spent over how much? 35 bucks. Oh, that's not too bad. So he's very cute. I also got in there, Lego-wise, these two sets. So there's a couple of um, What's this micro one? builds. The Imperial Dropship 20th Anniversary Edition. So that's got a collectible hand solo minifigure in it. And, and that's a set that's got C3PO in it. An escape pod versus so that's a microfighter. G-back microfighter, whatever the heck that means. So I've got a few little little sets. Yeah, you were pleased with that though, weren't yeah. you? Right. So whereas Pete went berserk with the Lego, I normally buy some Pandora jewellery while I'm there, but nothing grabbed me. It was no. very expensive. There was a exclusive food and wine set, which was one barrel charm and one dangle charm, 145 bucks, ouch. And then there was a Christmas set which had two barrel charms and one dangle of the castle which is very pretty but that was 245 but we didn't buy them <laughs> we didn't get them so I went berserk on spirit jerseys instead so I'm completely Disney basic sorry that's what I like so I got the ubiquitous Arundel Aqua one so there it is. I don't know if the camera's picking it up it's actually a sparkly fabric I don't know if you can see that not sure. If you pass it to me, oh. I'll show you the back. And then you can um, grab the next one. There's there a you go. Walt Disney World. And that's in sort of an iridescent sparkle. Okay. That was that one. I've got some clothes down here. This one you can't actually get in the parks anymore. A very kind friend picked it up for me earlier in the year and yep. I collected it from her. So it's the Pippa Pink one. It's got the same design on the front. Or Disney World. On the back, again, it, now this is all silver. This isn't yeah. iridescent, this is just silver, silver glitter print. Pippa Sparkles. <laughs> Next. Christmas one. Wasn't going to get this one, but I just kind of had to. So it's got this in sort of a sprinkles pattern, or hundreds and thousands, as we would say in Britain. And the bottom half is Mickey Snacks. And the Walt on Disney the World on the back is again in the sort of sprinkles yeah. version. Yep, lovely. Cute. That'll be worn at work at Christmas. What's that um, Giro Deli thing called with that? Peppermint Bark. Peppermint Bark, yes, think, it reminds me of that. I think that's the kind of vibe they're going for. And this was one of the spirit jerseys that I actually wanted to get. I've seen it online. It's the one for Food and Wine Festival. So that's on the front and it's half grey and half pink. And on the back, I'll have to hold this up, won't I? It says, everything's better with sprinkles. I don't know if that helps. Very cool. I was one of these people that was dead against spirit jerseys when they first came out, because I just thought, they're oversized, they're shapeless, and... Then it's not over yet. I got sucked in. <laughs> There's another one. So when we went to the Christmas party, there was an exclusive Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party spirit jersey, which I had to get in line for the second we got into the party which is very cute. So it's, it says Magic Kingdom 2019. And the next and day... Sort of Pip, looks like buttons. The next day it was cooler out and Pip wore it and she got lots of comments. And there's this on the sleeve. And then on the back, it says 
which is very Merry Christmas party. Yes, a lot of people were really taken with this. And these were all 64 99 Yeah. But I know I'm going to wear them. I, will wear, I, I wear spirit jerseys a lot to the day job to compensate for the air conditioning in the office. Um, Next, me? Yes. Oh, talking to spirit jerseys. Oh, yes, we've got one more. We picked this up for a friend. And People friend always ask to get one for a friend. At Disabled Disney. So, there you go. There's the uh, Imperial and Rebel sign together there. Yes, it's sort of shiny quite gold. funky. And then on the back... Got Star, Star Wars. Wars, and this is sort of a stars, yeah, print galaxy okay. print. Can you see that sort of stars? It's not glittery, I don't think he would have wanted it if it was glittery, no. but yeah, we saw quite a few blokes wearing these. So that's well, that I don't one. get them, they don't suit me. For some yeah, you tried them on, and they just don't yeah. look right, I don't quite know why. Um, and I picked up a few t shirts, I wasn't going to, and I saw these on the last day, so they were doing a deal for they were $24.99 each. And if you bought two, they were 22 each, so 44 for two. I finally found one that says, made in the 70s. Because I was made in the 70s. <laughs> I was. Don't normally wear yellow, but I just had to have this one. Didn't have a made in the 60s. Oh, no, they didn't, did they? Gutted. And then the other one I got was this retro print, which I love of old Pleasure Island, if you remember it, because... I was a massive fan of the Adventurers Club. Absolutely gutted when it closed. So this is the nearest I've got to a bit of merch. And I picked up a sort of tank Disney top of the Four Parks uh, design that yeah. they have at the moment. This is going to be very handy for when I'm teaching. So <laughs> thirty-five. Wow. Ouch. Let's not look at that anyway. <laughs> that was a shock, wasn't it? So I like this t-shirt and Pip has bought it for me. Hashtag ad gifted. From me. <laughs> but because um, basically uh, spirit jerseys don't suit me, I thought, well, this is a t-shirt, but basically... It kind of has that spirit jersey feel about it. It's got a spirit it, jersey vibe. Because that's on the back. And it's got sort of that retro Disney logo. Yeah. And well, it's, it's nice, got the it's Ep that really Epcot, nice soft stuff. That Epcot Mickey. I love that. Was that, 20, was that 35 as well? Yeah. Oh, 35 as well. 35 is kind of standard for a yeah. t-shirt now, which is, which is crazy. Also, what was I saying about Mandalorian? <laughs> there you go. Ta-da! I saw that and had to get that. Again, that's that really nice soft. Yeah, it's soft, distressed, soft very thin, perfect for, for Florida the hot, weather. Hot weather yeah. So I got that as well. And I bought a Christmas t-shirt. Initially bought it for the party, but it's such soft material. I'll probably wear it quite a lot more, actually. It is the season to be jolly. And the jolly is kind of textured with yeah. the snowflakes, actually. Very, Should I try and get good. it slightly yeah. closer? I don't know if you can see that. They're slightly raised. Yeah. And, yeah, you had it on for the Christmas party, but yeah. then we had to put our wet weather gear on yeah. for most of the party. So I wore it briefly. Our resplendent Christmas wear never got seen. But neither did anyone else's, because everyone else had their Christmas gear, uh, their uh, wet weather gear on, I love too. the feel of their T-shirts, then. We're getting there, people. So Bear not with much us. left. We are, right, so when you go to the party, you can get free treats. It's almost like doing trick or treat, but it's with cookies. So every station, treat station around the park, you can grab some cookies. I'm not going to show you all of them because we've got an entire bag. bag. But they are a little cookie in a packet. And we've got quite a few. And each station is different. So you'll either get a peppermint cookie or a chocolate chip cookie. Or there was a ginger and molasses cookie. And snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle, just a plain sugar cookie. And each station also has a drink. So there was Fanta, cider, hot chocolate. Oh, and go to Liberty Square and get the eggnog. And eggnog. Oh, the eggnog was... I've not really had that before, but that was joyful. super. Yeah. Um, so every station has something different. So that's something else to do. Um, as like a trick, trick or treat treasure hunt at Christmas. So I've got a couple of bits left. So Go for it. Reusable bags? Yes. The thing there. I had to get one from the Black Spar Outpost. So, that's got the Falcon, BB-8 and Batu on there. As you can see. This is landing 2019. No doubt next year they'll change the pattern, yeah. won't they? It won't say. There we go. So, 
Prices have gone up for these though. Yeah. They were a dollar, a dollar fifty, and two dollars for small, medium, and large. They've gone up to two, two fifty, and three dollars. So that is reusable. Isn't it really though? Did you have to raise the price on that? So I'll insert a picture of it. But I've oh, been wanting yeah. to get this for a couple of years. And all every the, year he's procrastinated and all the tracks, all the tracks in the bag out there that Pip's left out there, so I can't rattle it. Did you want me to go and get the bag so you can rattle it? But no, I've got <laughs> monorail blue, so that's going to go on my Christmas display. And you get characters with it; it's battery driven, so you just turn it on and it trundles round. It lights up. Oh, Ooh. hello, Neve. <laughs> that's, that's in a little <laughs> plastic tray at the moment, but I couldn't get it in a. In the case, no matter how much I tried, no, nope. it just would have got bashed and beaten, and we wouldn't have got the luggage back. But I'll insert a picture, and you can see that. You've probably seen them around anyway. So that's going to look great above my trains. And I think is this the last bit? I'm I doing? think so. Yeah. No, it's not. Hang on, I've got bags. So you talk about them. So. Every year we've been trying to, well, last year and this year, we've managed yeah. to get a Larry Dotson, the artist who paints those lovely pictures. There's one behind us, but the, the light is sort of shining on it yeah. a bit. That's actually Saratoga Springs behind us. So we're kind of making a point of getting pictures of the resorts where we stay. So we've got Saratoga, we've got Animal Kingdom. And I know some people collect pins of where they stay. We just collect print. Boardwalk, yeah. Oh yeah, we've got the boardwalk as well. And so... The only other place we stay so far is Old Key West. Yes, we didn't stay on this trip, so there you go. but we have stayed at it previously. So we, we wanted to complete the collection. Just beautiful, these prints. They're not cheap, are they? Aren't They're they? not. But that was 35. And we, he was one. in Norway, in Epcot. Signing. Signing. So we've got this little... Actually, Epcot on. Christmas one. We got this one in April and he signed it for us. I don't know yeah. if you can see he signed it for us. So then we've got this We've got the, the Magic Kingdom Christmas one, which he's happily signed for us. Merry Christmas, Pippa and Peter at the top there. And so next year, clearly, we'll have to get Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom yeah. to complete the set. But we do so, love these prints, they're so lovely. If you do have these prints, little top tip, these frames are cheap as chips and they're from Wilco. Yeah. And they do lots of different colours, like a plain and a white and a silver. But this just kind of goes with our lounge. If so. you can't get them in a the shop, they sell them online yeah. as well. So that's just a top tip from us. So we got, we got some spare, haven't we, to yeah. put these in. And randomly, little top tip with the prices as well. This was 25 the smaller one. Now, if you buy it in Norway, where he does signings, they won't give you a discount for DVC or annual pass. They say you can't have a discount on artwork. However, if you go and get this... Got this in a resort, didn't you? In Old Key West, because we took a boat over and had a little wonder. If you get it in the gift shop at a resort shop, they will give you the 20% off. So that's worth bearing in mind, because yeah. I almost bought this one at Norway when we got this one, and then thought, hang on a minute, I can get my discount if we actually go to Old Key West. <laughs> yeah, check everywhere before you go to the signing yeah. bit. I know it's good to get them personalised. But we ended up getting, we can only get these ones when he's around. Yeah. These aren't in the shops normally. Awesome. So they're going to go up on the wall? Yep, they need to go up. And just your Just bag my there. bags. Oh, and my bauble. So this was for a friend at work. She's just become a grandma. And she wanted a bauble for her daughter for her new grandson. So we've got this beautiful bauble. And it was personalised for us. So it says the baby's name is Dexter and 2019. He was born on the 1st of October. <laughs> and this worked out to, I can't can't remember how many dollars, but with the 20% discount and the personalisation, it came to 22 English pounds. So Is it she, nine bucks a person? She's absolutely chuffed. I think it was nine dollars for the personalisation. Yeah. And they did it very quickly. I, I went and bought it about five o'clock in the evening. Come back in an hour. And an it was done soon. within an evening. That was a weekday. Not on a weekend, barking mad there in a, on a, a weekend. And the good thing is you collect it from an area that's not the till. Yes, a separate Because you've already area. paid for it. You don't have to queue up and get it. So, so I know she's going to be really pleased with that. Christmas but shop. Great I'll, shop. Um, personalise whatever you want on there. Yeah. So. Well, within reason. That's going to be... <laughs> then I got a few bags. Well, I say a few. It was two. This one I actually picked it's up for a friend. More than one, it's a few, isn't she... it? <laughs> <laughs> a good friend of mine who's also a DVC member, she asked me to pick this bag up for her. 
It's a Vera Bradley bag and it's the whimsical print because it's got the castle on it and Mickey and it's a cross, oh hello, it's a cross body bag and that was $85 and that had no discount on it unfortunately. I did try for her but it's quite roomy, it's a nice park bag so I'd imagine she'll be using that next time she goes over. So that was that and it packs nice and flat really and it's bendy so it's not going to get damaged. Good things pack flat. Absolutely, this didn't. So, I bought a lounge fly backpack. I don't normally, but this one was just too cute to resist. It's got all those Christmas snacks on. And I did use it for a couple of days in the parks. And I'm not going to lie, you can get quite a lot in there. So I normally have a crossbody bag. Even a manatee. But this, I could be converted to a little backpack to be, to be, to be honest. So <laughs> that was 75 bucks with the discount came down to 60. But again, what do I do all that overtime for? And then I went a bit mad, didn't I? The Christmas Dooney and Burks got released when we were out there. I know. I went and Manatees queued. Manatees are judging. Oh, <laughs> I went and queued because we were staying at Saratoga just across the, the lake from Dean Springs. They were being released at the Ever After shop. So I went down and queued. There wasn't a very long queue, to be honest. There was a lot of personal shoppers and eBay sellers grabbing so many of them. <sighs> you were determined to get one, weren't you? The Christmas Dooney tote. So this is the home. That's the front. It's actually got a fluffy blanket inside padding it out because it got a little bit crushed in the case. So yeah. I'm just reshaping it. But I will use this all year round. Judge me if you want. I don't care. <laughs> and then on the back, there's the Christmas tree with Pluto. And it is, I know there's a blanket in the moment, but it is pretty big. So I get all my rubbish and stuff in there. Nice long handles. There's a couple of um, inside pockets, so for phones and things like that. So yeah, I was very chuffed to get that. Yeah, so that cool. was, deep breath, $298. Oh my God, I did get my 20%. But as Pete said to me, get it. If you don't get it, you're gonna regret not buying it. And over time. That's, that's why I'm posting on every Saturday. Here I am at overtime again. <laughs> so I'll start yeah. again this Saturday. Me too. So that just about concludes the haul from Disney World 2019. Yeah, sorry it's a bit long, but we did get quite a bit of stuff this time. Yes, but everything we got came home in one piece. We're really pleased with everything we bought. And it's our one big, big splurge of the year. And now it's back to... Because we travelled premium, didn't we? Not we had two cases in the hold. Yes. We both pretty much went with one empty. And, pack, yeah. and the, the invention of packing cubes has helped greatly in bringing lots of stuff back. Yes, and the Virgin weight limit is 23 kilos. And mm, I think all four of our cases were about 19.20 when we came home. So we actually could have bought more, but our credit card said no. <laughs> cool. So, anyway, so... Thank you very much for watching. Look out for these bits if you're going soon. Yes, and oh, look, at, look out for them in the Character Warehouse if they appear there soon. <laughs> don't forget, if you see it, buy it. Yes, do. D don't, don't feel guilty, buy it. And yep. if, you, if you feel a couple of days later you don't want it, you can always, you can return, always return it. it. Yep. Thank you so much for watching. Yep. Please Appreciate give us it. a like and a subscribe. The Tell full, your friends. Full vlogs will be starting very soon, very soon. If they haven't already started by the time this goes up. Yep. And we've really enjoyed vlogging our first trip. So we hope you enjoy seeing what we get up to. Yep. And we will see you in the full vlogs. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye. We're still here. Slight addendum. I yes. forgot one little chap because he was sitting upstairs on the bed. It's the Giardelli bear. I couldn't Baz. resist him. Yeah, we're calling him Baz for some reason. I don't know why. Got a Giardelli on his paw as well. Saw him last year and I didn't get him and I was gutted. So I had to get this little guy. And he smells of caramel. Now, I don't know if he's meant to smell of caramel or if because he's been hanging around in the Giardelli shop for so long that he's absorbed the smell. I don't know. <laughs> but he's super soft and I have a, a love for bears. So, yeah, we had to come home with him. All right. Sorry. Give me the bear. Look, be nice to the bear. Okay. Then we came home to some amazing posts. The lovely Mr. David and Mr. Ian have gifted us some artwork and it is gorgeous. They are so talented. 
we've got this beautiful print of the tiki room which is just gorgeous we're gonna have to find a frame for that aren't we yeah that's just beautiful and for their own artwork there's a postcard of carl from up brilliant if you've watched their vlogs their favorite film is up and they yeah. love the characters and the wonderful kevin, kevin! Now we did meet Kevin a couple of times at Animal ah. Kingdom and she's awesome. Yeah. So that was super. Thank you so much, guys. We're really, really Thanks touched that. that you sent them, sent us these. Thank you very much. <laughs> bye for now. Bye. Oh, Bethany, bye. Steady on. Say bye, Beth. Mm -hmm.